Warm welcome, this is Markus Termin. At the 14th of July 2024, let's have a look at the astrology of today. The moon is still in the sign of Libra, but it will shift this afternoon, 5 o'clock, Middle European summer time, into the sign of Scorpio. And of course, everybody is talking about this here one event. And let's have a look. Is there anything astrology says about that? You might realize the conjunction of Mars and Uranus. Um, on this chart, can you see that? Let's put it that way. On this chart, it's descending in the evening uh, because I put out the chart for the moment when the moon changes to the sign of Scorpio and then the moon gets to be in opposition of Mars and Uranus, triggering them again. Now, uh, just to show you what astrology really shows, of course, we have to have a look at the assassination attempt of President Donald Trump that happened recently, a few hours ago. And let's have a look how this works out in astrology. Inside, you see the chart of President Donald Trump. Um, he's a full moon born person. He has of course his, can you see that? Uh, it's kind of difficult with the light today. Can you see that this is his sun in the sign of Gemini. This is his moon in the sign of Sagittarius. As you can clearly, clearly see, not, not clearly clear. <laughs> Sorry for that. But anyhow, um, the moon is in the sign of Sagittarius and the sun is in the sign of Gemini. He's a full moon born person. And at the moment of the assassination, I do attempt, um, which is the second assassination attempt of a Western leader. Um, uh, President Robert Fizzo was badly shot in his guts and he survived. It's the second attempt that they could not work out. Whoever they might be, you of course going to spread it's a loner and just one single person and blah blah blah. Me personally, I don't believe it. But anyhow, <clears throat> as you can see, Mars and Uranus, the dangerous conjunction we are facing, which is going to be exact at the 15th of July, <clears throat> that means two days from tomorrow. Um, is it two days? No, it's going to be tomorrow. Um, it's one day from tomorrow and you see it's very very close and it's on house 10 actually of Donald Trump and it makes a perfect square position to his Mars. To his Mars in Leo. He has a Leo Mars and this is the square position that we are talking about that is the square position is almost exact you know so if we're talking about astrology it shows really what is happening and of course this means that the presidential election is kind of over because he will be re-elected and that means something for the world um, i'm not perfectly sure whether we can be happy in Europe about that because um, he's very strong on building up military in Europe um, he has different uh, difficult opinions but there's one thing for sure he's not going for um, things like wokeness you know and um, that's going to take another direction there's going to be another turnaround this now here is the chart of the election day and you can easily see he faces Jupiter retrograde above his north node in the sign of Gemini. The north node in the sign of Gemini means he was born with wisdom, but he has a lack of information. And if you have been looking at what he's been doing with um, warp speed and um, uh, picking, picking, picking the wrong vice president. Um, Mike Pence has a Saturn opposition to Donald Trump. It's the 14 years distance. That's a secret enemy, you know. And he, 
he didn't know that and he didn't know about Fauci and blah blah blah. But Trump is not all a good guy. He's 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 um, he's a, he's a gringo as all of them. But on the other hand, he will change politics and he will change politics for Europe. And all the wokeness uh, leftist guys um, will left be standing in the rain, especially in my country, in Germany, if this new president makes it. So the only possibility to stop him was to shoot him um, right before. In, in, right before the convent of the Republican Party uh, would have um, taken place to to name him as a nominee. You know, he's in, he's in great danger, but this was the very moment that they could do it. And now it's over and it's done. And I'm pretty sure he will become the next president. Um, so it's going to turn around the other side in many many ways you know also still if robert f kennedy jr doesn't make it you know and the polls don't say it um, there's an advantage of him running because he forces the trump campaign to unveil the truth you know to get closer to what happened through you know those recent four years that are still being censored on platforms like this and so we're not talking about that too much. But see, this is what astrology goes to show you. Um, this is the re-election chart. And coming again to, to the assassination attempt, this is really like, clearly speaking, astrology. It couldn't be more clear. This is the square position to his own Mars. There is the assassination attempt. And it means something for the world that they couldn't make it. They couldn't come through. And now there's no way he will not be re-elected because the American heart is like, God, this guy survived. They tried to shoot him. I'm going to elect him now, even though I thought I wouldn't. But now is the time to go to the election. And I think the election with that thing and with that iconographic pictures you know you see Donald Trump holding his right ear covered with blood and and um, the American flag in the background and what couldn't be more ridiculous the press of the world put out false news on that he fell on stage you know um, he dropped down um, like maybe even like Joe Biden because he can't walk and things like that and um, this is going to fall back on them this time because people have been killed. One, the, the, the assassinator um, was killed himself. They shot his head off, you know. And um, the, the conjunction of Mars and Uranus is at the uh, fixed star of Argol. And Argol is famous for people losing their heads. You know, this is astrology goes deep into symbolic meaning that show up in reality. It's a secret. It's a, what is that? You know, we, we have to get into philosophy to find out what is astrology really, not to avoid it. But anyhow, this is the 14th of July, 2024. Um, how are you going to use this day personally? If we have the, the trine late afternoon in between sun and moon, it's going to be um, a more harmonic vibe, though in the opposition Mars Uranus gets a shine from the moon and comes out into full daylight. It's a dangerous conjunction, so don't lose your head. You know, take care. This is Marcus Termin on the 14th of July 2024. Just missing the page to show you my email address where you can get in contact, but just look up one of the other videos and you'll find it. Thank you very much for listening. Marcus Termin at the 14th of July 2024.